Explained by the Billy Meyer Contacts, A. C. Contact Report 407 Today, Silvano drew my attention to the fact that on Swiss television SRG1 at 20 YHRs to 21 HRs, a program was being broadcast which was about clairvoyance. I watched this program, of course. It was about a woman in her 30s named AC, who is supposed to be clairvoyant and to see dead humans, aliens, the aura of humans, etc. She is also in the habit of giving advice and treatment to other humans and she also works in a hospital under the patronage of a doctor. But as I see it, the woman suffers from a meditative form of schizophrenia, as you once described this disease to me. I cannot remember the correct name you gave to this form of schizophrenia. I can give you the name. That is no problem, as well as what is behind the whole thing you watched on TV. Since I... As a medical doctor and psychiatrist, also deal with the things you mentioned. And since I try to get hold of everything that arises in this field on Earth, I have not been unaware of Mrs. A.C. and her actions for years. But there are a large number of forms of this kind of illness, and that is what it is among the humans on Earth. And I have to say that your observation and judgment is correct with regard to the fact that the woman suffers from a very rare form of a persistently acute form of schizophrenia, which is unconsciously meditative delusional due to childhood-related desire circumstances. It is an acute and persistent paranoid hallucinatory schizophrenia, which due to an unconscious and likewise acute permanent and thus persistent alpha wave meditative state, causes delusional or paranoid and hallucinatory modes of experience and forms of experience, whereby only a very slight or no impairment of the formal world of thought appears, and the formation of feelings, the emotional world, and the emotional responsiveness are fully preserved. This is a permanent condition which is extremely difficult to diagnose and therefore difficult to recognize even by our specialists, psychiatrists, and trained psychologists. This is especially true because a person afflicted by this consciousness-related disease appears to be completely normal and does not have any recognizable brain organic disease or abnormal behavior, speech, conduct or movement, etc., as a rule. This form of consciousness disease also brings with it the fact that those afflicted with it have an excessive sensitivity or sensitivity, whereby they are able to absorb and define all kinds of impulses with regard to thoughts, feelings, and pain of their fellow men, which is also true for this woman. On Earth, the psychological and psychiatric specialists are still completely ignorant of this clinical picture which is why they classify people suffering from this kind of illness as completely normal, and even admit that they are clairvoyant and psychic, etc., which is not the case. It is not uncommon for humans who have fallen prey to the disease of paranoid hallucinatory schizophrenia in the form of alpha-wave meditation to have extraordinary psychological abilities through which they can stimulate suffering fellow humans to unconscious self-healing by suggestive influence. Often fantastic as well as realistic images of the schizophrenia sufferers come into play, which they suggest to the sick and suffering people who then accept them, take them for granted and work with them, whereby self-suggestion generates self-healing. The process is similar to the one that is practiced and applied by the so-called spiritual healers. In the condition of the woman you mentioned, the origin of her illness can be traced back to her childhood, namely to the fact that she felt extremely alone in childhood and intensely wished to have company around her. In the course of time, this desire became a mania, from which the aforementioned form of paranoid hallucinatory schizophrenia soon developed into the alpha-wave meditative form, which already broke out in puberty. 
The disease developed in such a way that she perceived delusions in the form of apparent auras around people, as well as energy points and energy fields on and in their bodies. It also resulted in her visioning to see the supposedly deceased and communicating with them, as well as with imaginary other beings, which has been preserved until today. Eventually, the disease spread to the point where she became delusional in believing that she could communicate with objects, animals, fruits and vegetables, etc., and that these would give her valuable answers, etc., which is due to the fact that in her schizophrenic state, she also has voice hallucinations. Her illness is therefore based on acoustic and optical hallucinations, in addition to other things. The whole thing has become more and more intense in her over the years, and has developed to such an extent up to the present day that there is practically no possibility of a cure. Yes, A.C. creates an alpha wave state within herself, usually unconsciously, which is why she does not, as well as those who work with her and test her, find the solution to the riddle and believe that she possesses psychic abilities.